Okay, this one comes from a question uh, from the channel, um, and that is, how do I take a brake pattern and put it on the ground? So, let's say that I have this particular brake pattern, right? I've got my standard kind of brake layout. How do I take that brake layout and how do I how do I make like a brick pathway out of it, right? Um, it's actually not terribly complicated, um, but there's a but there's a little trick to it, so we can go through it. You should be able to uh, do this right after this after you watch this. So um, let's say we have our pathway coming down here from our vanishing point, right? We're just gonna go ahead and set up the bounds of our pathway. Okay, so we've set up basically a plane. Now we have two different orientations that the brake can go. The brake can go in this orientation, or it can go in this orientation, and we're going to do a drawing for each of those. So let's start with this sort of standard orientation. We know that if we, um, that as we go back, these lines have to get closer and closer together, right? So if I start with a line like that, I have to go narrower and narrower and narrower and narrower and narrower narrower until these are so close together that the child can barely handle it, right? Then, when I lay out my bricks, normally I would just run lines all the way back here, right? But I can't really do that um, with bricks. I have to run them back to the vanishing point, but I have to skip every other one, right? And then I have to come back here and lay out my next brick. Skip, 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 and head back towards the vanishing point, right? I can probably do that a little bit better. Okay, then I don't want to go and do the uh, the one that's like dead center. I'm gonna go over, skip, 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 skip. Okay, so I've skipped every other one. Then I have to go back and lay the pattern in between, right? So, boom, skip, boom, skip, boom, skip, boom, skip, boom, right? And if I can, sneak another one in here. Boom, 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 boom. So here I've laid out my pattern, right? Then if there's anything like strange, wonky, or weird, you know, I can, you know, change like the angle of a particular brick, make it like kind of like offset from each other. And I can introduce like any kind of bricks that are kind of, kind of messed up and I can give the bricks past some character. But if I focus on this layout, that's going to help a lot. Now let's cover the other orientation that you that you might want to put this in. So let's continue the horizon line, put a new vanishing point, recreate the plane. Now this time you might want to, instead of doing your brick layout this way, you might want to turn the brick layout this way so that your uh, main seams of the brick are going back to the vanishing point. So we do that. We go brick seam, brick seam, brick seam. And the trick is keep these distances the same and it'll look pretty consistent for you, right? Okay, now we have our layout of bricks going the other way. So now we have to skip going this way. So what I would what I would do is create your tick marks going getting smaller and smaller um, out here first so that you get a layout and then you can just um, go from there. So remember this time we have to skip, but we're going to skip horizontal. So we go skip, boom, skip, boom, skip, boom. Then we alternate. We go boom, skip, boom, skip, boom. And here we switch it up again. And then skip. So we create this alternating rhythm. Boom, skip, boom, skip. Boom, skip, boom. And we go skip, boom, skip, boom, skip, boom, boom, skip, and we alternate. Now we have our brick pattern going the other direction. And then we can, you know, again, if there's bricks that are kind of messed up and at odd angles, we can go ahead and sketch those in. They're like popping up. It's still gonna work because we're gonna do most of the bricks at the correct angle. And there we have it. And again, if you need to do this like really formulaically, you can go back and use the X method subdivision that, we, that we've talked about before. Where if your bricks have to be perfect and you have to get technical, 
you can do the X method subdivision and then subdivide again and again and again and again until you get the subdivision small enough where the bricks are just exactly like you want or you can go less technical and go this method. I prefer this method and just kind of keep this in mind as I do this um, because I find that this gets really crowded and really slow. We've done arc planes, so how do I do, do this on an arc plane, right? If I have a curved path, right, that's going back in space, how do I then put bricks that wrap over it? So if that's not enough of a challenge for you, then you can say, well, I can do bricks going back, right? Maybe I do this arc path, this arc plane going back in space. Got the peak of an arc, goes back. Maybe we're doing like an arched bridge or something. And then I can say, well, you know, I want my bricks to go this way instead, right? Then I can say, well, Boom, so I can skip at the other, right? Yeah, we'll keep exploring um, these kinds of concepts and curves and arcs and perspective as we do more videos.